Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Love Lee. If today's your first time, I'm so happy you are here. Please do well to click on the subscribe button to be part of this amazing, wonderful Fatma Lee. And for my return viewers, thank you guys for always coming back to watch your girl do her thing. Love you guys. Ma. All right, guys, so in today's video, as you've seen in the description below, it's about time I share my story too. So it's story time all right guys so <clears throat> i see lots of people sharing their stories on broken heart and i must say if you've not had your share then i don't know i don't know i'm not saying everybody must have their share because people should treat people right people should be truthful to themselves to each other and all that but it happens that some of us were not lucky and um, we got our hearts broken yes guys so i'm going to tell you my story ever since i became a youtuber i've been meaning to tell you my experience yes and um i think it's about time i share my story too yes guys so um sit back relax and um enjoy see you guys all right guys welcome back okay so I have had my share of broken heart and it wasn't easy. I mean, talking about it now is funny because now it's like a story. It's something you've experienced and um, you are okay to talk about it. Yeah. I didn't know. I always say that if you can't talk about your broken heart, then that means you still feel the pain or something. I don't know about you, but that's me. I feel if you can't share the story, then you still feel the pain. Yes, guys. For me, when I'm in love, forget. It's just you. Oh my God! Wow! After the broken heart, I got friends telling me that you, you like putting your eggs in one basket. He be lie. But what should we do? If you're in love with A, it's supposed to be A forever. I mean, that's how it's supposed to be. But some people can't do that. They prefer to test waters, like have one in one corner and one in the other corner. Which, on my side, I don't think it's a good idea. If it is you, it is you. This is a woman. So this was how it went. I dated this person for close to five years. Yeah, close to five years. Mm. I won't say it was a bad relationship. It was very, very good, but it was a lie. It was a lie. Look at this one. <laughs> if you fall out of love with someone, I know it's not easy to tell them, but try as much as possible to let them know. Mm. Wow. It's a very good truth and lie, but it's a lie for me. Liana or Josephine or Margaret, I don't think I'm in for this anymore. I don't think I can do this anymore. Then she or she's going to ask, why? Why? What's wrong with me? What did I do? Oh, I don't think this thing you're doing is right or wrong. I mean, come out to say it. That is if you're falling out of love with somebody. But don't pretend in the relationship. Some people pretend to be in love with you, but trust me, they fell out of love with you a like, long time ago. So, got to a point, he didn't want to see me anymore. He goes like, oh, I don't want you to be coming to my place too much. I don't want you to be doing this. As naive as I was, I think I was very young. Not very young, no, no, I wasn't that young. But I think I was in love, let me put it that way. I don't want love, voila. Love when you only came many years ago. And I thought, oh, he was rather doing me a favor of saying that, oh, he doesn't want me to, to be stressing myself coming all the way to his place. But apparently, he has his own agenda. So one time, I decided to go to his place guys i'll make the story very short i decided to go to his place and uh um, flow, 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 flow. Open it. you know girls we like to do stuff for our guys so in my mind i was going to clean up his place and <laughs> cook for him and all this kind of stuff yeah oh, first i called him always he said oh he's not home i said oh, okay cool so i was like let me just pass through babe's place and do one of two things for him before he comes I took a car, he lives very far away from me, yeah. When I got there, it's a um, compound house, but it's a self-contained compound house. When I got there, there were two neighbors downstairs. They know me, 
they know that I always come and go. And there's this language these people thought I didn't understand. So when I got there, they said, hey, marriage material, eh, bye. <laughs> I had it in a flash, but I thought, oh, it's just a normal hype kind of thing because I'm not free with them. So when they said, marriage material, eh, bye. Guys, uh, I just looked at them with side eye and I just went inside. So when I went, I got his door. I tried my key and it wasn't working. As naive as I was, I thought, ah, what's wrong with my key? Why is my key not opening the door? So I still tried it and I'm like, ah, why? And I kept trying. And later I heard music in the room. So I thought, oh, he wasn't around, guys. <laughs> and this guy was somebody I thought I was going to get married to, somebody I thought was the one for me. <laughs> Let me tell you guys one thing. When a guy tells you that I don't like I don't like thick girls, I don't like fair girls, I don't like tough girls, you'd be surprised they are the kind of people he would cheat on you with. Hmm. Wow. It's a very good truth and lie. But it's a lie. So when I tried opening the door and it wasn't opening, and then I had him opening. Of course, he wasn't thinking I was coming there. When he came out, he said, one minute, one minute. I still didn't have a clue that he was there with somebody. Put <laughs> 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 on a shirt and came outside and pulled me out, like talking to me. I was like, ah, why, what's up? I said, ah, what's going on? He just dragged me out like I should come, I should come. So I went, I followed him and then he was like, he had a visitor inside. I was like, who is the visitor? Guys, I was still confused. And then he said I should stand out here and wait and that he'll be back. So he just left me outside there and went back inside without me entering. They both came out looking all dressed and I was wondering what's going on. He wasn't saying anything and then later he was like, um... They see we have to go somewhere so i'll call you since you have the key you can go back inside and they left i was just looking at the girl like i was just looking at her and i wasn't thinking my girl one of my girls stayed closer to his place so i needed somebody to talk to so i called my girl several times she didn't pick up i was like oh my goodness she didn't pick up so the one who said married material i gathered courage to go to her went to her and I was like, please, uh, I would like you to help me. Because I was really broken. I didn't know what to think. Please, um, did you see the time? Did a girl come here this morning? Then they said they opened their shop at 6, but they didn't see anybody come here. And the lady doesn't close early. She closes the store around 11 there. And she said they came around 9 p.m. And I was like, wow, so this guy cheated on me with this girl. Like, I couldn't talk close to some minutes Congratulations. guys that was it after catching them red-handed he left with the girl this guy left with the girl <laughs> i'm not fair i'm fair but i'm not that fair but this guy said he doesn't like fair girls he doesn't like fair girls blah 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 he will lie hmm. he cheated with the fair girl I heard from him I know you are wondering, did I ever hear from him? Yes, I heard from him. He was trying to say that um, she wasn't anybody, but the lady came that morning for them to go somewhere and all that. I was like, wow. <laughs> I cried. <laughs> and all that, but in all, I overcame and I'm here. I think if you get your heart broken once, I don't think you will experience it again. I don't know about you, but me, there's nothing like, now nothing moves me anymore. Just know in your mind that what is for you will definitely come. And I'm a child of God, so I believe uh, God loves me, so definitely he's going to bring, yeah, I mean, you know. It's a woman. The life is tough. Life is tough now, so you don't have to let anybody stress you. I mean, if you want to be happy, you just create happiness for yourself. You go out do things don't coil yourself somewhere crying over a man no 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 no. and that wasn't the only thing he did he 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 did lots of things before that ultimate 
<laughs> I'll call it ultimate because that was huge. <laughs> he crowned it with that thing that I caught him with another lady. That's why I just called it off. And this is like a very long time ago. This is a very, very long time ago. So guys, if you did enjoy my video, please like this video. Leave a comment of what you think. Share for someone to come and listen to my story. Thank you for watching. See you guys in my next video. Love you.